keto cornbread because it's the only cornbread I can eat on keto. We have some sauteed spinach. Yummy, freaking delicious girl. Look at that. Don't they look delicious? And we are drinking the uh, Wicked Blue Citrus flavored water from Neo. Yummers! Who is ready for this motherfucking mukbang? Y'all can't tell me that don't look good. Look at that cornbread. Look like a piece of cake. Yummers! What's up, Yummy Bites? Welcome back to another episode of Yummy Bites TV. Y'all see it? Y'all, we are drinking Wicked Blue Citrus Flavored Water from Mio. Ah, uh, yes, y'all. Mm. Yummy, delicious. Who is ready for this, y'all? Y'all are never gonna believe what just happened. Let's pray. Amen. Who is ready for this mother flipping mug bang? All right. Y'all, oh my God, look at this macaroni and cheese, girl. Absolutely. I see the mess out of that. Mmm. 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 -mm -mm. Get some of that good, delicious, moist cornbread. Mmm. Y'all can't nobody tell me about this cornbread, girl. Mmm. Y'all, where's my other Tabasco? Mmm-hmm. Look at that. Delicious. Absolutely delicious. Mm. Girl, have y'all ever heard of corn of macaroni and cheese stuffed Cornish hen? I saw this on TikTok, girl. Mmm. That is bomb. Wow. Mmm. -hmm. Macaroni tastes so creamy. Mmm. Y'all. Mmm. Uh-oh. The chicken is so moist and flavorful, y'all. When the chicken is small like this, like, it's so juicy and flavorful. I mean, every part of the chicken. Mmm. 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 This is a Sunday meal. I don't know what I was doing. <laughs> but when I saw that, I was like, oh no, I gotta make that today, honey. Mmm. This sauteed cabbage is banging. 
I kept it a little al dente. Mm. Delicious. Mm. Have y'all ever heard of a stuffed Cornish hen? Like, what? Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Girl, what? Mmm. Delicious. Can you close the door? Mmm. Y'all, all the lights just cut off. I didn't even think I was going to be doing this video until they cut back on. Thank you, Jesus. Y'all, every single light in the entire neighborhood cut off. It was for, like, at least, I don't know, about five minutes. But nobody knows, like, why it happened. Like, that was so weird. Very strange. It, there's no weather or anything that's happening. It didn't rain today. Just nothing. What's going on? All of the lights shut off, y'all. It was like, as soon as they shut off, it was literally pitch black. Anybody in Houston, um, anybody else experienced that? Because, girl, that was weird. Mm. Well, weird and scary. I'm like, oh my God, what is going on? What is about to happen? I'm just waiting for whatever is about to happen. I was just... Mm. I stuffed my um hand with uh, lemon slices. You can taste the lemon on... Oh my God, so that. Mmm. That red-headed lady came and surprised me today. Oh, boy, she made me mad. Super mad. Mmm. Look at how uh, look at the juice at the bottom of this plate. Like, mmm, mmm, that lemon. That is so good. I didn't think that like when people stuff their chickens with certain things that it would like flavor like the whole chicken, but baby, it does. So good. Mmm. Mmm. Freaking delicious. Wow. Y'all, I was running around here like a freaking chicken with my head cut off. Y'all, I did not think I was going to be filming. I was like, I just made all this freaking food and I'm, I'm about to go take my clothes off straight up. This wig was about to come off. Hey, I'm trying to tell you it was about to be over with. I sent y'all a message for the people who got it. Like, <laughs> what did y'all think when I sent that message? Like, I'm trying to warn y'all. Like, it, this is probably not going to happen. Because I thought the lights was going to be off for a, a long time. For some reason. But we got some topics, okay? Yes, ma'am, we do. <clears throat> 
we have some topics. Mmm. But I'm about to eat first. Mmm. -mm. The crust on this mac and cheese. Oh my God. Mmm. Yeah, yeah, my other bottle, my big bottle is in there somewhere. And I don't feel like I'm going to go get it, so I'm just going to use this. Y'all know I'm the sauce queen, so I have to have some type of sauce for my chicken. Y'all ever do a chicken, do a Cornish hen, because it's honestly guaranteed it's not going to be dry. That green sauce is good too. Mmm. 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 -mm. Come on, girl. Really? all kind of flavor on them. I use the lime seasoning on this chicken girl. Are you kidding me? Mm. If y'all don't have a lime seasoning in your kitchen, you need to go get one. Mmm! Because lime seasoning on chicken, I don't care what kind of chicken you're making. Top tier. Mm. And this is the thing, I wasn't even gonna make any cornbread. I changed my mind at the last minute. So glad I made it. It's going perfect with this meal. Mmm. So y'all, I have to film a video tomorrow early because we're celebrating my dad's birthday. I'm going out to eat and um, I have to film a video, you know what I'm saying? So I have to film it before we leave, y'all. <laughs> so yeah, it ain't gonna be nothing real uh, extravagant that I'm gonna be eating. It's gonna be something very much simple. Very much simple and to the point, baby. I noticed that people have been saying, oh, I thought you were going to have pizza or something like that. Somebody on here said that um, 
they thought I was going to have pizza or something like that. Somebody on here said it and somebody on Instagram. So I was like, um, do I need to make a pizza? So that's probably what I'm going to do. Mm. Just pretend like this was Sunday's meal. Okay. <laughs> Mm. Y'all, your girl getting full. <laughs> mm. Why is my nose running? <laughs> I ain't really even eating nothing hot. Hey, is anybody from New York? Let me know in, in the comment. Did y'all hear about that guy um, who was on Joe Rogan's podcast, right? I don't know his name, um, but he was on Joe Rogan's podcast um, not that long ago. And he was just talking about how he reformed his life, turned his life around, and how he's like speaking with the young, with the youth, uh, on mm, getting their lives together too. But guess what happened, okay? While he was doing all of that, he done pop out somebody in his building, okay? Um, And chopped him up, y'all. Chopped him up. It's on surveillance. It had him in bags, y'all. They done found um, pieces of this man in his apartment. I'm like, what? What happened to the reform? Like, y'all. I really want to know how he went wrong when he had supposedly had gotten his life together. Girl, you just never know when something is going to freaking happen. I was shocked. I'm like, wow. And he was on Joe Rogan's podcast. This guy must have been somebody because it, it, you know what I'm saying? You can't just be any old body getting on Joe Rogan's podcast, right? That's just what I'm thinking. I don't know. Hmm. Let's see. I hope I. Oh, and y'all, can we talk about Jake Paul and Mike Tyson going to fight in July? Like, what? Y'all, like, I, I've been watching clips and stuff of Mike Tyson training all freaking day, y'all. All day. Did y'all know about that? Because it's literally going viral right now. Um... This guy made a video and he was like, um, they're going to fight, but there's uh, these rules that um, Jake Paul has, I guess Jake came up with. I, I don't know, y'all, but I don't even know if this is true or not because it sounds like it's not true. It's so, it just seems unbelievable that, you know, that they have these rules. And y'all tell me if this is a lie or not, but this man got 2.5 million views on this video. And ain't nobody came and said that this stuff wasn't true. That he's saying. Oh, excuse me. Y'all think I'm full. That was good. Oh my gosh. Listen to this. Jake Paul is all set to box against Mike Tyson this July, but the rules in this fight are absolutely absurd. Even at almost 60 years old, Tyson would absolutely dominate Jake Paul. So they had to adjust the rules to make this a somewhat fair fight. First Did y'all hear that? They had to adjust the rules to make it a fair fight. Why even fight if if there has to be rules to it? You know what I'm saying? Like, just let there be regular boxing rules. You know, and, and I'm wondering, like, why does Jake Paul want to fight Mike Tyson? Is it just for the clout? Because you... There's no kind of way that you think that you are going to beat Mike Tyson. Even at this freaking age. They say he's almost 60 years old. Even at this age. Like, there's no way. 
Have y'all seen the clips? Maybe I should show y'all the clips of him training. Y'all, wait a minute, hold up. For the people who did see his uh, clips training, first of all, I want to know why he has to train in draws. Like, why is he training in draws, y'all? Like, what is the purpose of that? It, I mean, is that the most comfortable? Like, what in the world? Why is he in draws? All over the internet. Just... Oh my God. Anyway, let's listen listen to these these crazy rules. Like I wouldn't even want to if, if I was Jake, first of all, these rules make him look weak. Weak like a mug. Why fight if you have to have rules for you? For you, not for Mike. Just for him, for Jake. Okay? Listen. He's going to be able to wear headgear like an amateur boxer, okay? But Mike Tyson, he's not going to be able to wear headgear. And I'm pretty sure Mike, he probably doesn't even care. But headgear? Don't even fight! Like, girl. But Tyson won't be wearing any of that. That gives Paul a chance to knock Tyson out. But with his headgear, Jake Paul won't get knocked out and won't get badly injured. The second rule is that Jake is allowed to tag team with his brother Logan Paul. Jake is allowed to tag team with his brother, Logan Paul. What kind of bull corn is that? So when you get tired, then you get to tag team your brother in so he can beat up on uh, Mike Tyson. When I tell y'all, I hope to God, <laughs> Mike, I hope he get out there and act like an animal. Honestly, y'all know how Mike used to fight. Like, you, when you saw Mike fighting Mike Tyson, like, you were scared. You were literally scared for that other person because he looks scary, okay? I hope he go out there and just, mm, I hope he really do it to him, for real. Like, I hope he knock him out in the first freaking 10 seconds. Like, I, I really hope he does. But tag team isn't even the correct way of tag describing team. it, despite that being what the contract says. Because he'll be able to bring Logan in, and they'll both be able to fight at the same time. Wait, did y'all hear that? No, not just tagging him in. They're going to be able to fight him together if they need to. What kind of book, y'all? They about to make me cuss. Like, <laughs> Jake Paul, he better not even do that. Because that's just going to make him look weak and nobody is going to respect him. Like, I wouldn't respect him at all. If he did any of this stuff that they're saying that he can do, you know what I'm saying? Like, it ain't no way. And is Mike Tyson agreeing to all this? This is it's unbelievable. It's literally unbelievable. For the sake of his ego, I think Jake wants to win this by himself. So I don't think he'll be tagging in Logan unless he feels like he well, needs to. We'll technically, it could be a 2-1 fight from the opening bell. And the last rule is kind of a two-for-one. This states that there won't be a weigh-in for Jake. This fight is supposed to be fought at 165, meaning Tyson will need to pass. There would not be a weigh-in for Jake Paul. Y'all, this has got to be a joke. For real. This has got to be a joke. This couldn't be real. Like. <laughs> It couldn't be real. It's, I don't understand. So Mike Tyson has to be 165, but Jake doesn't hold up. This weigh -in, but Jake Paul won't weigh in, so he can be as heavy as he wants to be. He can be and as heavy as he wants to be. Is it also won't be drug tested, but again, only for Jake. So if you're it won't be drug tested. The only person that won't be drug tested is Jake. Do y'all think this is real? Like, honestly, that don't make no sense to me. It don't make no sense. Girl, let me read these comments. What happened? The comments are gone. Y'all, there's no comments. You know what? I bet you he cut these mugs off because he's lying. That th These rules are not true. They couldn't be true. I don't even know why I'm telling y'all this, but this is the video that I'm watching right now from More Pick'em PD on TikTok, y'all. This is crazy. Keeping track, Jake will be able to fight on any performance-enhancing drugs he wants to against Mike Tyson 
with his brother while not getting punched in the face. And by the way, Mike Tyson is still the favorite in this fight. Jake Paul is also Of course Mike Tyson is the favorite. Like, are you kidding me? And what is has Jake Paul gone crazy or something? What makes him think that he can beat Mike Tyson? Or does he just want to fight him just to see? Because I heard that uh, Jake has been knocking folks out. Um, you know, I'm not sure if he's an amateur boxer or, like, what is going on with that. I know he's been boxing, though. But I just, I've always known him and his brother to be YouTubers, you know? Um, but trying to beat Mike Tyson... I wonder why he won't fight, um, who is it, y'all? Um, oh, my God, why am I forgetting his name? Y'all know who I'm talking about. Uh, Floyd, Floyd Mayweather. Why he don't fight, or has he already fought him? No, I don't think he's fought him. Has he? I can't remember. I don't think he has fought, um, Floyd Mayweather. And anyway, okay, so people are saying that if Mike loses, that they know that this fight is rigged. And honestly, y'all, I feel like Jake is going to pay Mike Tyson not to hurt him. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> Mike then already said that he can easily beat him. Easily. Y'all should see his sparring fights, y'all. It is the scariest thing. He's so quick, y'all, even at this age. He's so quick. And I just feel sorry for the sparring partner that he has. And he's supposed to have, like, the best um, the best one in the world. I don't know his name. Um, but, y'all, yeah. like, it ain't no way. Like, I wouldn't even want to get hit one time by Mike Tyson. That is crazy. Like, Jake is crazy. Mm -mm. Couldn't be me. But I will be watching. I... I don't care what is going on that day. I am, it's going to be on Netflix, y'all. They are going to be streaming it. <coughs> Excuse me. On Netflix. I am going to be there front and center. I'm watching that. I just hope it don't take rounds and rounds and rounds. You know what I'm saying? Like, get it over with. Get your money, Mike. And Mike is probably, Mike Tyson is probably doing it because he probably needs the money. You know what I'm saying? I heard that. Like, his finances weren't the best. Um, but this was, like, a couple of years ago. It's been, like, some years. You know, I don't know what's going on in his life right now. Oh, wait a minute. This is the tweet. What? Mike Tyson, with the blue check, it tweeted, we signed the contract. But that don't mean that... Uh, you know, that these rules are involved. See, this fool turned off these comments. Why did he do that? I think because he is bullcorning with this video. I think that's what that is. Anyway, y'all let me know in the comments, who do y'all think is going to win? Mike Tyson or Jake Paul? And tell, like, I'm asking, like, I'm not just going to say uh, Mike Tyson is going to win. That's who I think is going to win, of course. But y'all let me know in the comments, who do y'all think is going to win that fight? That is great. Oh, my God. Like, I cannot, literally, I cannot wait. I wish they wouldn't have came and, and like, told us so early because it's not going to happen until uh, July. And I heard that um, that um, Mike Tyson is going to be turning, how old is he going to be? 59 or 60? And it's either June or July. One of them. One of them months. So, girl, like, are you freaking kidding me? I literally can't believe this. And y'all, they was putting, like, a comparison. Um, like, okay, so Jake and his sparring uh, partner was fighting. And then um, Mike Tyson and his sparring partner, I think that's what you call it, y'all, was fighting. And they, like, put it, like, next to each other and, and ask everybody who they think going to. Y'all should see the speed of Mike Tyson versus Jake Paul. It is like, y'all, it is literally like night and day. Night and day. Jake should be afraid. And then Jake, he, um, he recorded him telling his dad, um, no, I think he's, he asked his dad, who 
is the greatest um, fighter of all time, you know, to you, right? And his dad said, Mike Tyson. And then he was like, well, uh, I'm supposed to fight Mike Tyson uh, or whatever. And his dad was like, what? Are you serious? Like, I think his dad is concerned for him, honestly. He was like, you sure? You know what I'm saying? Like, girl, mm-mm. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't want my son to fight Mike Tyson at all. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, y'all, update on the TikTok ban. Um, so, <laughs> uh, the, uh, Republicans and the Democrats voted and it was unanimous, y'all. Unanimous, but I heard it has to go through all, um, sorts of, 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 committees or whatever and people um so they're not done yet and do y'all know what i just found this out that uh the, we okay want uh the people who own tiktok to sell it that's what they're that's what they want they want they want them to sell tiktok but i'm like sell it to who T to us like is that what it is I guess they want them to sell it so they won't, um, you know, keep, I, I guess, because we think that they're getting our information or whatever, so they won't do that. Uh, they want them to sell it. So that's, like, ultimately what this is all about. They want them to sell it. Like, that, y'all, mm, I swear we'll be doing some shady stuff. Shady mother flipping Mac Gray. I know that is not a... Um, oh. Okay, all right. So y'all make sure y'all answer that. Like this, y'all, this is out of control. Like I cannot believe that they are gonna fight. This is really gonna happen? Oh my God, what if they pump it up and then it doesn't even happen? Like something happens to where, you know, it, it's not able to, well, you know what he just said? He said he signed the contract, so he signed it. So it's going to happen, y'all. I just, I don't know. I cannot believe it. I just, I can't believe it. Anyway, so did y'all hear about that girl from Atlanta? An Atlanta hairstylist. It's just, something's always going on in Atlanta. Okay, so um, there's an Atlanta hairstylist going viral um, because her date invited her to an NBA basketball game. Then she left him because the seats that he purchased was too far, far away from the court. What's wrong with people? Like, I just, I don't know. I did not understand. And, and, and here go the picture of how far the seats were away. I mean, literally, they were nosebleeds, but she should have just let her nose bleed. You know what I'm saying? Girl, let your nose bleed. Like, he didn't purchase the dag on tickets to an NBA basketball game. Like, I don't know. I don't think I would have been that petty. That is so petty and just rude. Maybe she's used to the better things. I don't know. Like, what would y'all have done? Would y'all would have left and, you know, and been disgusted because y'all were sitting so far away from, uh, <laughs> from the floor? Like, girl... So people, I'm wondering, has she ever sat close to the floor? Like, ever. Mm, maybe she just thought that, you know, like, how dare you sit me all the way up here by the ceiling? <laughs> because literally, that's where it was. <laughs> For real. Like, I don't think I would have acted like that at all. Mm -mm. That's just rude. And that brings me to this, y'all. Have y'all seen this freaking clip of this girl? Oh, it's, it's, this is unbelievable. Y'all know that show where, um, I'm not sure what it's called, but there's a show, like a dating show, where there's like, uh, a bu I think I told y'all about this, a bunch of girls lined up and they bring in a man um, and basically the girls, all the girls have balloons. And if that man that comes in doesn't look the way that they want him to look, or, you know, when he starts talking, maybe he ain't talking about what, you know, she wants him to be talking about. They get to pop their balloon. 
And when they pop their balloon, the host of the show goes over to ask them, well, why did you pop your balloon? You know. So this girl pops her balloon, okay? And y'all done probably already seen this because it has 8.3 million views. It went viral. Y'all, this is a trip. I have never heard of somebody be so rude. Listen to this. I just want a man with a higher vocabulary, okay. which you don't have. Listen On your day-to-day -day speak. On, On your day-to-day -day speak. Right. Girl, what are you talking about? Listen. I just want a man with a higher vocabulary, okay. which you don't have. On your day-to-day -day speak. Why you pop yours? You ain't fucking with me? Oh, hold on. Let me go ahead. Go on back. I'm 26. Listen. Okay. And you and you and you talk like my little brother. I feel like Chicago. I'm talking to my little Chicago as well. Oh. Isn't that crazy? Okay. Yeah, you're very gorgeous though, but I don't like that you put the fake flower in your vest trying to make it look better than what it was. Yeah. I don't like that you brought a fake briefcase. There's probably nothing in there, and it's also halfway open. You should probably close it. Yeah. Also, I don't like that the fact that you put your hat. What would be Why do you have a hat on? Briefcase, though. Fake briefcase. I mean, the hair done. It's done. It's done. So why don't you show your hair? That's what I wanted to do today. I understand. I just want to see your hair. I get it. You feel me? I've I've dealt with you feel me Chicago women most of my life. You okay? You feel me? Me and your brother probably sound alike because we done been through the same struggles. You feel me? But I could respect that. I just wanted to know what you was thinking about. That's all that was. It's just weird talking no, to my little brother, so. No problem. You can't say little. I'm, you, we the same age, darling. Let's be respectful. You sound like him, though. That's so because we're from the same place. So you don't like, no, you don't like people from your hometown. I never said and that. And that's respectful. I can respect I that. just want a man with a higher vocabulary, okay. which you don't have. On your day-to-day -day speak. On your day-to-day -day speak. Speaking what to does other women, that trust. I'm, that mean? You're good. I, 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 I talk... Like where I was born from, I got I got a real like respect. I, I can't let you like you feel me throw down what I've been through. Tell her. I never said what I, you went through. Tell her. You, you, you tried though, darling. Yeah, you I feel did me? So yeah, I she trying, trying it. I'm really from struggle. I, I speak a certain type of way, but I've searched for education. I have a bachelor's degree from Chicago. Okay. 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 In general, I wasn't throwing shade on you, though. She wasn't throwing shade, y'all. But I'm educated, baby. No, that's fine. We can move forward. Thank you. Okay. Let's go ahead and go to our Definitely. three ladies Definitely. that still have their... <sighs> she couldn't even be my friend. I would not even want to hang out with nobody like that. Did y'all see how rude she was to him? What did he do? What did he do? But talk. She was so... I've, I don't think I've ever seen somebody be so rude to somebody that they just met. That, that was unbelievable. And he kept his composure, baby. Like, I don't know how long I could have kept mine. For real. I would have had to read her good on your day-to-day -day speak. What? Who says that? Who says on your day-to-day -day speak? <sighs> she really embarrassed herself with what she did. She she literally owes him an apology, in my opinion. That was just rude, and it was so uncalled for. Just ridiculous. Somebody said higher vocab, but said day-to-day -day speak. Like, who says day-to-day -day speak? She didn't mean to say that. She just couldn't find the vocabulary that she is throwing shade at him on. She couldn't find her own vocabulary to say what she wanted to say. Girl, yep, somebody just hit it right on the nose. She's so condescending. Like, girl, I can tell that she's the type of female that loves to argue. And then when somebody get mad, she, then she acts like she's the victim. Like, what did I do? You know, the, I can tell that she's one of those. Like, girl, get away from me. Like, I swear I couldn't even talk to that girl. I couldn't do it. Wow. 
Somebody says she the kind to ar to argue just to argue. That is exactly what I think too. Wow. Anyway, I like watching the show though, but um, like I be wondering like where the actual show is. Um, if anybody knows, please let me know. Uh, I be watching the clips on um TikTok all the time. Yeah, I love that freaking show. But um, okay, y'all. So there is like this um trend going around on TikTok. Let me bring y'all in some. Hold up. Boom. There we go. So y'all, there's like this trend going on on TikTok where women are getting on camera and asking people how old do they think that, you know, that they look. They're asking the world to tell them how old do they think they, that, um, that they look. Y'all. So, it's this one lady who did that video. And I guess that she thought that she could handle what people were going to say about her. Um... I think this lady here, I think she's 39. Because I don't, is she 39? Hold on. She's I think this lady here is 39. Y'all, and the people that are asking, I just, I'm just like, girl, why did you do that? Like, you got to make sure that you are in the right headspace when you ask the internet something like that. Because, baby, people will hurt your feelings. And they will not leave no crumbs. They will eat you right on up. <laughs> they will eat your ass right on up. And they don't care about your feelings. Don't ask stuff like that if you cannot handle it. This woman here, y'all, is so sad. People was guessing how old she was. I'm not sure how old this lady is. But I think that she might have been 39. Let me show y'all her. That's right. Most people did guess over 50. And... I have gotten so many hateful comments. I disclosed that I'm 38. 38? Yet <gasps> tons of people came on to my comment thread to say that, wow, must have been a rough life. And no way you're 38. <laughs> Just 38? lots of stuff like that. So it's 5.30 in the morning, and I have maybe gathered an hour or two of sleep throughout the night. I finally no. just got out of bed because this I is was so just bad. torturing myself laying there. Um, so this is a little PSA to all the ladies out there. Don't try the trend. I really honestly don't think I look like I'm in my 50s. Um, but apparently I do. And... Um, I'm definitely going to be having some work done. Do you see? So, it starts on Tuesday with my hair. What? I'm going to call and make an appointment for some lip filler because I got a lot oh of comments God. about my, yes, almost non-existent upper lip. <laughs> um, but these are just my genetics. I don't have any Botox, any fillers. Yeah. I do take care of my skin, but I still break out. <laughs> um, I use Tretinone, and I'm actually an esthetician. So I think that's the part of this that really has me upset because I'm supposed to be making people look youthful, and yet I myself look like I'm 20 years older than I am. So... Just don't do it. But you know what? Oh my God. I feel so sorry for people who, you know, take people's comments like to heart like that and then start changing themselves like what she's about to do. Like she really took that to heart. And I understand. I definitely understand why. You know what I'm saying? Um... Wow. She is literally going to go get work done. Y'all, there was another lady that did too, but I didn't save that video. Um, it just, everybody is just so surprised as to, uh, 
you know, what everybody is saying about how old they look. There's ladies getting on here saying that they like 36 and people are saying, oh gosh, I thought you were 60. 60 years old, y'all. Like what? And some of them was saying, you know, how old they were and like I was, I was shocked. I was so shocked, y'all. I didn't know what age spots were. I didn't know what that was. Uh, yeah, I had to look it up. So age spots are like, I think the age spots come from the sun. Girl, my skin loves the sun. That, I guess that's why I didn't know what age spots were. I mean, I know what wrinkles are and lines and stuff like that because I have, um, you know what I'm saying, lines up under my eyes. Like, Y'all didn't never think I was going to get lines up under my eyes, but it happened. It finally happened. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't care, though. I don't care about lines under my eyes. I'm not trying to go get that fixed. I'm like, I, I will never do anything to my face like i ain't never doing nothing none of that botox none of that stuff because i heard like you you put foreign stuff in your body like that's not good it's not good to put foreign um anything in your body your lips none of that you know what i'm saying um and then i would be scared to do it anyway like absolutely not the only thing that i've ever gotten done was um my eyebrows um what was it, uh, microbladed or tattooed or whatever? I don't think this is a tattoo, though, but I think th this is microblading. Um, yeah, that was it, and I don't ever plan on doing anything. I know people be getting Botox, like, under, like in this sensitive part of their eyes. Like, oh, my goodness, I couldn't do it. I absolutely could not do it, um, even though people might think that I need to. But no, and then I got smile lines too. But you think I'm gonna do something with it? No, I'm not. I'm not going to for what? I'm gonna keep smiling, so I'm pretty sure they're gonna come back one day. Like you, honestly, you cannot stop aging. Like you can't stop it from happening, y'all. Like I know. Like have y'all seen on um on the internet like some before and afters of some people that go and get face facelifts and stuff. Some of them facelifts be like a miracle. An uh, absolute miracle. This is black lady that I saw got hers. Now, I wish I would have saved that video because that was something out of this world, okay? She went in looking like she was about 55, right? She might have been 55. She got a facelift. I don't know what all she got done, but she got some sort of a um, facelift, y'all. And she came back when I tell you she looked like she was about 30? I couldn't believe it. She didn't have no more double chin. She didn't have not a wrinkle in sight. Y'all, she looks so freaking good. She looks so good, y'all. Like, I mean, if you want to go and get it done like that, well, go get it done, girl, if you want to. You know? But just don't you mess yourself up. Some people mess themselves completely up. Their face. Like, mm-mm. Mm-mm. Now, the only thing that I... Um, be tripping about as far as aging goes is of course the loose skin but who can do something about that like you know what i'm saying i had kids so that like made that process go faster with having kids um and gray hairs the gray hairs i just cannot do that's why these wigs be on y'all like the gray hair like i have so many now like i literally i don't care what kind of hairstyle i do that i can't hide them i cannot hide them at all um but yeah y'all i feel so sorry for this lady i really do did she just her eyes seem sad now like it's just she seems defeated just because she made that video and had to read those freaking comments. Yeah, you won't ever see me doing it. Like, I don't care how old people think I look. I don't care with or without makeup. I don't care. I don't care. I don't want to know what you think. <laughs> like, I'm not crazy. I ain't crazy. 
Like, I don't want to know what you think. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm just living my life. So, I don't want to know what you think about how old I look. It doesn't even matter to me, honestly. It does not matter. Would y'all ask somebody that on the internet? <laughs> and if you did ask somebody, would you be able to handle what they say? Girl. I know what I can handle. And that ain't one of them. <laughs> mm -mm. That ain't something that I can handle. Mm -mm. And I can be honest about that, honey. There's a whole lot of stuff I can't handle. But that, I just, no. No. Anyway. Uh, what else, y'all? Hold on. Listen to this. Y'all remember A.D. and Clay, right? A.D. and Clay. So this girl um, put this video up. I don't know where she found this, this video, but A.D. is um, there at some type of get-together. A.D. and Clay are there. So she did stay with him. Remember when I told y'all the way she gave him that hug? I know she ain't going nowhere. Look at this. Y'all see Clay? I knew she wasn't gonna let that fool go. Like, I freaking knew it. What I told y'all? I be knowing stuff like that, y'all. Like, I don't even have to know the situation. I just, I can look at something and just, I can just tell. I have this, like, intuition, y'all, for real. I, I knew it. I knew she was going to stay with him. What is this? Um, oh, okay. Now, I, I don't know if I talked to y'all about this or not, but Drea from Basketball Wives, right? Y'all know she pregnant by, um... This young man, <laughs> he's 22 years old. Andrea is almost 40. I think she's 39 or something like that. Anyway, um, people are really, people are saying Drea needs to go to jail. Like, please. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, I always say, you know, let people do what they want to freaking do. You know, he is of age. It's not like he's 17 or 16 or anything. Like, he's 22. And I feel like he's old enough to make a decision on who he wants to be with. And he obviously picked her and he knew her age. So, why is everybody picking on Drea? Why isn't anybody saying anything to him about who he picked? You know what I'm saying? Like... Why every, everybody, y'all, everybody's making videos and really trashing Drea. Like, I, honestly, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised, you know, because wasn't her last relationship, wasn't he younger also? Like, maybe that's just what she like, you know? Like, what do y'all think about it? Do y'all think that she's disgusting and all of these things that everybody is saying? I mean, he is young. He is. That That is very, very young. But guess who's going to learn their lesson with that? Dre is going to learn her lesson because, I mean, you know what? I don't know what this man going to do. He might, he might be with her for the rest of their lives. He might marry her, all that. Like, it all might happen for her. We don't know. We don't know what's going to happen with that relationship. We're just, you know what I'm saying, just giving our unsolicited opinions about somebody else's relationship. You know, I don't know. They might work out. They just might. That might be the woman that he wants to be with. And then he might like older women. That might be just what he likes. Maybe he don't like women his age. Maybe they're not mature enough for him. But nobody is saying that, y'all. Everybody is just talking about Dre and how she robbing the cradle. That's what we used to say back in the day. How she robbing the cradle, you know. And I don't know why everybody is getting on to her. And they were like, if it was a man, 
that was 39 and then she was 22. Okay, it, what if? Because there's plenty of situations like that. Plenty. You know, but everybody is still adults. Even though there's a big age gap, it happens, y'all. Like, I don't know why people are tripping like this, for real. Because it freaking happens every day. Sometimes even bigger um, age gaps than that. There's a, um, there's a couple on TikTok. I don't know if y'all know who they are. I forgot their names. It's a black girl. I believe she is, I think she might be 20. I think she may be 20, y'all. And her man is like, I believe he's 40 something. Yeah, he's way older than her. They got a baby, married and everything. And everybody's just so upset about that situation. And she just, she just loves it. She said she always wanted to be married. She always wanted to be a mother. All of this stuff, y'all. And, and people are just so mad. Like, what? Y'all. Like, don't be mad at somebody else's situation. It's not even your situation. Why are you mad? Why are you mad? You cannot understand somebody's situation, but you mad? You making videos and stuff? Why are you so upset? Like, I don't mm. Mm, Dre, Dre probably thought she hit the freaking uh, jackpot because he's supposed to have money. And y'all know Dre like money. What's wrong with liking money? What's wrong? With... <laughs> What's wrong with Dre liking money? Like, you know what I'm saying? Obviously, he likes it. And I'm pretty sure he knows what everybody be talking about. And he probably knows who he messing with in her history. Because who doesn't know? You know what I'm saying? But anyway, yeah, so there's that. Y'all let me know what y'all think about Drea with this man. Like, who freaking cares? That's what I say. Who cares? Um, what else, y'all? What else is going on here? <gasps> y'all! I need to get y'all's opinion on this situation. Okay? Because I have heard more than one person say this about um, Jay-Z and Beyonce. Y'all, this lady says that Beyonce is not Jay-Z's uh, dream girl. She, he is not, wait, that Beyonce is not Jay-Z's dream girl. I'm just going to piss off a lot of people, but I'm going to say it. Beyonce is not Jay-Z's dream girl, which is ironic because she actually was a dream girl. But I don't say this to knock Beyonce in any way, shape, or form. Because Beyonce is probably a lot of people's dream girl. But Beyonce's not Jay-Z's dream girl. But Beyonce fits the image of who Jay-Z thinks that someone at his level in music as a major executive in music should be with. Because she is the queen. She is the queen-like energy. She is this regal queen-like wife that is by his side. But that's not the woman that he really wants, which is why Honestly, I don't feel like any man I, 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 I just think that it's I don't know. Anyway, I don't think that any man really, honestly marries their dream girl. That's probably why there's always a lot of cheating going on. What y'all think about that? Do y'all feel like most men marry their dream girl or not? Like, I, I, I don't I don't think so. I don't think so. Um, you know, I don't know every situation, but I just don't feel, I feel like most men don't marry their dream girl. Listen. He's, we know he's cheated on her. I mean, there's been albums about it at this point. My guess is he's probably cheating with women who are, are more his type because Beyonce is not his type. She fits the image of who he thinks that a powerful music executive should be with. It's probably gonna... Do y'all agree? Because so many people in these comments agreed with what she was saying. Listen to this. Somebody gonna say Blue Kentrell is his type and he is still in love with her. Was Jay-Z ever with Blue Kent? What's her name? Kentrell? I didn't know that he was with her.
And somebody said Beyonce has 100% chemistry. Listen, somebody said Beyonce has 100% chemistry with Chris Martin. Chris? Who is Chris? Y'all don't know who these people are at all. And people are agreeing with that. Um, then somebody says, I think it may have been Aaliyah. Like he really wanted Aaliyah. Because didn't him and Dame like kind of fight over Aaliyah? You know what I'm saying? Because, okay, maybe that's who he really wanted to be with. Maybe that was his dream girl and not Beyonce. But, of course, you know, Aaliyah passed away and maybe that's why he got with Beyonce. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all think. That's just, you know, I'm just throwing that out there. Somebody said, um, and Jay-Z isn't her dream man <laughs> LMAO, it's her bodyguard. More of the story, stick with someone you love. Now, I don't doubt that they love each other. I First of all, I know Beyonce loves him. I know that for a fact. Um, I don't doubt that she loves him. Now, I don't... Uh, and I honestly, I don't doubt that he loves her. Like, he keeps having children with her. He asked her to marry him. Also, they're married. So, I don't doubt that he loves her. But maybe she just wasn't his dream girl. What is it that I hear? Y'all, I'm always hearing something. Lord. Um, and then somebody said they have a business relationship. I do believe that they have a business relationship too. But you know what? What a dumb decision. If Beyonce was not his dream girl... Why would you get married without a prenup? Because they don't have a prenup. There's no prenup, y'all. That's why Beyonce said it's a billion dollars in the elevator, okay? Because both of them together had a billion dollars amongst both of them. You know, um, I don't know. I honestly don't know. I never even thought about this until I seen this video. Never thought about it. Um, see, somebody else said it. It was Aaliyah. That's why him and Dame fell out. Mm. <gasps> somebody said Foxy Brown, Aaliyah, and Rihanna. Y'all think that Foxy Brown was his dream girl? I don't think so. I think he was playing with her when, you know, she was young. Y'all already know how old she was. I think he was playing with her, honestly. I don't think Foxy Brown was his, because she doesn't look like um, his type, honestly. Because I heard that he doesn't even like dark-skinned girls. He likes light-skinned girls. That's what I heard. <laughs> okay, those are not my words, but that is what I heard. Um, now, I can believe, I can believe Aaliyah and Rihanna. Definitely. Now, I wonder what happened with Rihanna. Honestly, y'all, and I'm just throwing this out there. I don't know if it's true or not. I think that Rihanna and Jay-Z were messing around. Like, when she first signed, I think that they were messing around. Honestly. I really do. I don't know what happened with that situation, but I do think Jay-Z messed with Rihanna. Y'all let me know what y'all think. But, um, so somebody says he was 31, um, she was 19 when they started dating. That was all I needed to know. Hmm. I don't, I don't know if she was 19, y'all. <laughs> I don't know if she was 19 when they started dating. Anyway. And then somebody says, a lot of men do this. They marry who makes them look good. Cheat with who he deserves or who he likes. Wow. Wow. Then somebody says, he likes the status and look of Beyonce more than Beyonce herself, probably. Dang. Anyway, y'all, let me read y'all's comments. This, oh my God. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Oh, that is just, wow. 
Ooh, excuse me. All right, y'all. Let me see what y'all talking about. Okay, let me focus my eyes, y'all. <laughs> um, Katina C seventy three says, "Hey, yummy. Hey, girl. Looking good, girl. Thank you." Well, I lived a sheltered life. I couldn't go to my friend's house for birthday parties, girl. I couldn't either. Oh my god, I could go to the house to play. We couldn't go in. We could only go. Honestly, we couldn't even go to their house. We had to tell them to come over to where we were because we had to stay in the front of our house. We had to stay in the front. Y'all, okay. Girl, this is bringing back some memories. Um, I could go to their house to play. I had to play with my siblings. Had to be in the house when the street lights came on. Every weekend, we had to clean the house while my mom played gospel music. My mama played gospel music, too. When I say clean house, wash clothes, hang them on the clothesline. When they dry, bring them in, fold, and put away. Then, we had to wash the car, clean it out, three cars. Wow. Then, clean the yard out, rake, weed eat. Dang. Then go in, take a shower, get ready for church if it is a if it is a revival or church uh, anniversary because we had to sing. Girl, <laughs> girl, when I got old enough, I was gone. I know you was, girl. My siblings did the same when we got of age, but we all continued to go to church. But we can leave when we want to instead of waiting two hours to leave. <laughs> Girl, let me tell you, oh my goodness, that sounds so familiar because, and this, this probably isn't good, but it's the truth. It is the truth, okay? Y'all need to appreciate the truth. Um, When I left the house, girl, I didn't want to go to church. I didn't. I, I had no desire to go to church. That's a shame because it's weird because I enjoyed church. I just, I remember, I enjoyed going to like children's church and stuff like that. But when we had got to the age to where um, there was no more children's church and it was um, uh, youth groups and stuff like that, my dad didn't want us sitting in the youth section, because that's what it was called at Lakewood, y'all. It was called the youth section. I guess my dad knew about the youths that was over there. Honey, the youths in church is worse than the folks that's not in church. I'm telling you right now, okay? The people who grew up in church know what I'm talking about. But when we got to that age, we had to sit with them. We couldn't sit in the youth. Sometimes we were able to, and I can't remember why, but my daddy was totally against no no you section. He didn't want us saying a word in church. Not a word. When I tell y'all, it was always something funny in church. Like always. Y'all already know what I'm talking about. It was always something funny in church. Couldn't chew gum. Did y'all have that rule that y'all couldn't chew gum? Um, you know, you was always hungry in church. Like, I just remember all kind of stuff, y'all. Um, you would try to talk, but my daddy's eye, it was like he had eyes all around his head. Because you try to say something, and he'd look with the freaking death stare, y'all. Like, y'all better be caught. And if you were caught talking, you you already knew you was going to get a whipping when you got home. You already knew you was going to get a whooping. And my daddy know this, so, <laughs> hey, daddy. <laughs> I know he not watching this video. But it was a guaranteed whooping. First of all, you was going to get in the car. After church, you all scared because you already know that they saw you talking. They had to correct you and tell you to, you know what I'm saying? And... You know, you going to get in the car and he's going to tell you how much uh, of a whooping you're going to get when you get home. <laughs> y'all, I would never forget. Y'all, we couldn't even talk in church. We couldn't snickle. We couldn't laugh. 
nothing. And I guess that was the part possibly that just turned me off with church. Even though I, I knew that, you know, if I went to church, you know, after I left the house, there was none of those rules were going to apply. I was just traumatized, girl. Like, I was so traumatized. I don't forget about the comments. I was traumatized. But, girl, I can definitely relate with you, girl. Definitely. The only thing that we could eat in church, we were so happy when it was communion so we could have some of them crackers and the grape juice. Yeah, that's how we thought of communion, y'all. Crackers and grape. Oh, good. We get to eat a little something. Yes, because we never, we never, um, we never... I don't believe, I don't remember having breakfast before we um, went to church. We didn't have breakfast before we went to church. I don't remember. If we did, I don't remember it. Because why were we so hungry in church? Why? And a lot of times we didn't have money after church to get the chili cheese dogs. You know what I'm saying? From the concession stand. Yeah, at Lakewood. Way back in the day. I don't know what they have now. They had concession stand. They had everything, honey. They was cooking. Okay? And selling stuff. Um... But, yeah. Anyway, let me finish reading these daggone comments. I'm sorry, y'all. Um, Yolanda Howard 2437 says, Girl, you have outdone yourself. This looks delicious for real. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. Thank you so much. Um, uh, Natasha Bowen 2170 says, what is love is blind on? Oh, what um is it Netflix? I don't even know. I don't know. Y'all, somebody answer her question. Oh my goodness. I don't even know. I don't know. Um uh, let me find out for you real quick. Hold on. Oh, excuse me. Where can I watch Love is Blind? Let's see. Netflix. It's on Netflix. Cool. I had a feeling it was on Netflix. Dar R3431 says, yummy. You have to be careful with the apple cider vinegar. It erodes your teeth. You know what? I heard that. But how? Unless I am gargling it or something or squishing it into, like... All I do is is shot, shoot it down my throat. That's it. It honestly doesn't even touch my teeth. It doesn't. It doesn't touch my teeth. I just, I do one, um, no, I do, um, do I do two tablespoons? Because I, I drink it from the bottle, y'all. Um, I think I do two tablespoons. But yeah, I'll be careful, girl. I'll be careful, though. Um, thank you, Dara. Um, Pamela Moore 7139 says, Happy Blessed Friday, yummy. Enjoy your night. Thank you, sis. You too. Happy weekend, y'all. Uh, Dara 3431 says, Yummy. You already know why they don't want to play Beyonce's song. Because it's going to soar to the top. So many racist comments out here about it. They're always stealing our shit. <laughs> we created country music. But Beyonce is the one who took that song down off of TikTok. Beyonce did that, right? Girl, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Um, Dar3431 says, hey, yummy. Hey, girl. Watch the vlog. I'm definitely making this for Sunday dinner. Everything looks yummo and great idea for the garlic naan. It looks just like the real deal. Looking good. Thank you, girl. I had a couple of people that was like, that is not garlic nut. Like, I, I know. It's not garlic. Like I, but I got to do what I got to do and, and try to emulate something that I cannot have. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you're on keto, you have to emulate stuff that you cannot have. So, that's all I be doing, y'all. And I just call it. You know what I'm saying? Garlic naan because that's what it's supposed to be. You know? And I'm just giving y'all an alternative on what to do if you want to use some garlic naan. You know? Um, Let's see. E-Troy 2045 says, you look beautiful. Thank you, girl. I'm with you. I have first... Um, 
I have first think about my, I have to first think about my response and then consider if the response is even warranted. I could just save my energy, but um, wait, if this could happen again and if I don't say anything and it happens again, um, I need to nip it or not. I think I, I think I remember what you're talking about. Okay, girl. Um, let's see. Uh, Jasmine Moore 8601 says, yes, yummy. I agree about the flavor. Uh, about the flavor. Love, love, love butter chicken. It's my guilty pleasure. Yes, girl, that flavor. It just be... I honestly, I did not know how to explain what I was going through when I was eating that. Y'all, it was so good. It like the flavor is just, it's so, it's such a, a, a deep, savory flavor. It's just, Indian food, girl, they know how to <laughs> season their food. Indians, Jamaicans, Africans, uh, Asians, yes. All of them know how to season their food. Let me know if I'm, if I'm uh, leaving somebody out because, Lord. Uh, <laughs> Kathy Yarbrough, uh, 9443, says, you look so good. Thank you. This is beautiful. Thank you. I want some of what you're eating, girl. Looks so yummy. Thank you, Sid. Y'all, it was incredible. Uh, Joyce Mac 1459 says, hello, yummy bites and absolutely delicious. Hey, girl. Thank you so much. Um, GJ3FUL says, caution. Fruits and veggies are very important for everyone to get into their system. Whenever coming off from any type of fast... You may have a little meat and eggs along with them too, but get them fruits and veggies in when coming um, off from any type of fast, please, especially the green veggies. At Yummy by Stevie, they wanted to make sure I saw that. Yes, yes. I was definitely told that, and I know that. Um, yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Um... Katie Lindsay 5154 says, OMG, I missed the outro. <laughs> what you mean? <laughs> you missed it. Um, Katie Lindsay 5154 says, The Love uh, is Blind reunion trailer is out on, um, on YouTube. Is it, girl? Oh my gosh. Yeah, it probably is because they were showing like everybody's um outfits uh on TikTok. And guess who had the best outfit? Girl. That dang on A D. <laughs> when I tell you A D, she's that girl. Did y'all see that chocolate dress on that chocolate freaking skin? She is just so beautiful. Her, her skin is gorgeous, too. Like, she is so gorgeous to me. She really is. And somebody was like, um, somebody needs to give her, a, like, a hair makeover. And they had put, like, a, somebody had, like, did it, like, um, what did they do? Um, like, they did it themselves on, um, they edited a, a picture of her and put, like, um, a wig with bangs on it. <gasps> it was! Oh my gosh, it flattered her face so well. Um, but I, she didn't wear bangs. Uh, I don't believe to the re I don't honestly, I don't even remember her face, y'all. In that picture, I was looking at that dress. Girl it was so cute. It was so cute. Um, okay, so Katie Lindsay5154 says that goat cheese pasta sub. The uh the borosine cheese for the feta, and I promise you it's gonna be so good. Oh, put the oh really? Okay, girl. Well, I'm gonna try it. We're gonna see. We are going to see. Tropically mix says yummy. You can lose weight by doing low carb. Sugar is a carb, which means 
it should be included with your daily carb intake. Back in the day, the keto limit was 30 grams. For some reason, Google changed it to 50 grams. Are you serious? True keto should stay under 30 grams and only eat quality meat and fat along with low carb veggies. Okay, thank you girl. Thank you girl, thank you girl. Um, Katie Lindsay 5154 says, um, yummy. Just a suggestion, LOL, you need maybe a recap before you read previous com comments because you be forgetting what you say when we reply to it. Girl, I know. I already know. But, uh, you know, it is what it is sometimes because, girl, I already have the time to watch the video over. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just, uh, yeah, I know I need to do better when it comes to that. I know, girl. Uh, Katie also says the reunion airs Wednesday on Netflix. All the drama, the dirt, the surprise guests. I can't wait. I definitely watching it. Definitely. Um, Katie Lindsay also says, yes, one couple got married. One girl, because I knew everybody was not going to get married. I knew. I wonder who that is. I wonder. Probably somebody that nobody was really paying attention to, honestly. Um, Katie also says, oh, yummy, you have to watch Love is Blind season six, girl. I am, girl, you got me all excited. Katie also says, you think Bay pulled her song to let Kelly have her moment? Kelly got a song out. Oh, y'all, oh my gosh. Um, Cardi B came out with another song. It, it is a banger. It is a banger. When I tell you she had me up dancing, I swear to God, she put a little snippet out on, um, on TikTok. It is jamming. She had all her natural hair out, no makeup on. She had on like this little two-piece. It was like a little house set that she walked around her house in. She didn't have on no shoes. Girl. And she was rapping, um... The song, right? A, a portion of the song. Yes. Everybody in the comments was here for it. Everybody, y'all. I'm like, what is she doing? Is she really coming? Because she said she was coming, y'all. That's what she said. And people is waiting for her to come. And then everybody was in them comments talking about, yeah, this the Cardi I know. This the Cardi. Let me know. Did y'all hear that song? And did y'all like it? I loved it. It is a banger. The beat. I can hear that at the club. I can hear it anywhere. People gonna get up out their chairs. They're gonna be on their dance floor dancing. I promise you. Um, yeah. Oh, let Kelly have her uh, movie moment? You think that? Nah. Nah, I don't think so. Um, Rose Miles 865 says, Happy Friday, yummy. Have a wonderful day. Love you. Oh, I love you too. And happy Friday to you too. Thank you so much. Um... Ramo Blast says, it seems like a mystery with them deciding to ban um, TikTok. Yeah, it's, it's, it's weird. It's very much, and just how they are doing it, like nobody knew what was going on. You know, like, mm -mm. I don't know. They be doing some sneaky stuff, for real. Katie Lindsay says, okay, because Meta be in the same... Um, BS as TikTok. Now, let me not speak on specifics, but. Okay. <laughs> um, Nelly Eat 6634 says, Hey, yummy, the food looks yummy. That jumper you got on is so popping. Thank you, girl. I like the too. I ain't even gonna lie. <laughs> I want to start my YouTube channel, but what's stopping me is the comp. Girl, oh, girl, I'm about to cuss. F them comments. I'm trying to t F them the F the bad comments. But make sure you have a relationship with the um the people who support you in them comments. Delete and block them mothers that don't want to support you. That's just what you do. Period. Um she says, I just can't take it. What is your suggestion? Because I really want to start my YouTube channel. Have a blessed day. Just what I said. I wish I would have been doing that. You know, uh, and I think the reason why I wasn't doing that is because part of me uh, didn't want to even deal with it because it would stress me out. 
Um, and then the other part of me, you know, people were saying different things. You know, you should uh, erase your comments. That helps you out. If that little do they know that uh, they're paying you or whatever. But either you want to be paid, or you want to have your mental in intact. Which one? <laughs> Which one? I had to pick, and I picked my mental. Because I've been doing this for a long time, and that is important to me. I have a family. You know what I'm saying? I have to live. <laughs> you know, and, and, and like, you don't have to deal with that stuff. You don't have to deal with it. It, it is true, though, that if you leave those comments, it does help, you know, your channel out. It, it does help your channel out. But if you can't take it, do not take it. Don't take it. Just block and delete the ass. You're going to get more subscribers that are going to support you. So F them. Okay? F them. Don't let them keep you from doing something that you want to do. Why would you let strangers keep you from doing something that you want to do? You giving them too much daggone me power. Don't. Y'all, I know them lights not about to cut off again. You're giving them too much power. Don't let them do it to you. Start your channel, girl, okay? Start it today. Katie Lindsay says, sorry for the back-to-back -back comments. Girl, I don't care, but I saw that Arnold's um, brand had a keto hamburger bun. What keto breads um, have you tried? Uh, Sola, S-O-L-A, because I've tried a lot. And the softest buns for, like, burgers for me um, is... Excuse me. And for like sandwiches too. Sola brand. Bread. Uh, I use the bagels for uh, hamburger buns. They're the softest. They're softer than the actual Sola um, hamburger buns. Okay. Um, w yeah. That's the only brand that I would uh, recommend. S-O-L-A. Um, let's see. Yeah, I've tried a lot of brands, though. I can't remember the brands right now. I just remember the brand that I use now that I'm not ever going to stray away from. Um, Katie Lindsay says, um, your dad had me cracking up in Jaden's <laughs> birthday vlog. Happy birthday to your dad. Yeah, thank you, sis. That's so sweet. Um, I so want to try your butter chicken recipe because the Indian restaurant near me is so expensive and I'm also trying to slowly incorporate keto. Yes, girl, it's so easy to make at home, but you have to have the, the seasonings, you know what I'm saying? Um, I mean, but the seasonings, they're not uh, expensive or anything, you know, they're just a couple of dollars. So all you need is the seasonings, girl, and some, uh, some you can use chicken breasts. If you want to, or chicken thighs. The chicken thighs are cheaper. You know what I'm saying? And and then you just make you some rice. Girl, it's easy. Get you some heavy whipping cream. Um, it's it's a very easy, quick meal, too. Uh yeah, and it's way cheaper to make it at home versus uh the restaurant, girl. They be charging like an arm and a leg at them uh Indian restaurants. It's be ridiculous. Um Okay. Katie also says, okay, so the last comment <laughs> I posted about social media going down. I think I didn't elaborate enough when I asked, then what? I meant to ask if social media go, oh, okay. Thank you, girl. Because I'm like, where's the rest? I meant to ask if social media goes down, then what for you? As in what route would you go? Would you stay in beauty, hair, and makeup, or would you try to stay in the food industry? I was just curious to what route you would take personally because you have spoken on your sales and retail experience in the past. And thank you because, let me tell you something. I know when somebody um, uh, like is, is seriously like wants to know and is concerned as to what I would do. Um, and I think that, that, you know what I'm saying? You're sincere in asking me what I would do. Um, because it was somebody else that had asked and I was just like, I'm side eyeing it. Like, 
you don't really want to know what I would like. You would. You don't give a shit what I would do. You. I feel like that person that had asked me last time was just trying to be like. So what you gonna do? Like, if uh, there's no more internet, what do you like? Like that person is like waiting for the internet to go down or not ever or go away so they can see my downfall or some. You know what I'm saying? Like, anyway. So I, what would I do? Honestly, y'all, I had I. The only thing that I could think of, uh, because I really don't. I don't really be thinking about if the internet goes away. I really don't because just like anybody else, girl, I would just go and get a job doing something. <laughs> I might be working at Chick-fil-A. You just never know what may happen. Um, um, hmm. I really, I guess I would really have to think about that. If the entire internet went away, I would just have to go get a nine to five. I would be probably working at somebody's um, administrative assistant. That's what I would probably, or I'd be a manager somewhere or a uh, girl, something to make some money to survive. You know what I'm saying? Like, just like anybody else would do. <laughs> Honestly, um, maybe I'll probably go and get my real estate license since I've already, t I've already taken the classes. I just need to pass the test. <laughs> I'll probably go get my real estate license and be a real estate agent. That's, I, you know, because I, I remember I was interested in that um, at one point in time. Uh, I don't know if y'all remember I told y'all that, but yeah. Yeah. Um, so that's an option. Um, I don't know if I would want to be in the beauty industry. I did go to beauty school, but I didn't finish beauty school. Didn't finish it um, because I didn't have anybody to keep my children. So um, I don't know if I would want to, at this age, I don't know if I would want to do that, you know? Because that wears on your back, on your feet. And all of that is gone for me already. Okay. Um, so, yeah. Um, Shay Joe. Uh, Shay Joe. 6474 says, food looks good as usual. Yes, they are trying to ban it. But our Congress are worried about the wrong things. They need to be trying to pass bills that help Americans. Exactly. Our information is everywhere already from our phones. And say, exactly. Like, if, if somebody had made a, a video and said, if they wanted to get our information, all they got to do is go to the dark web. That's all they got to do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Or, <laughs> and it, I heard that Facebook is giving it away. <laughs> you know, allegedly. So, if they wanted people's information, they could get it. For real. Um, Joanna Aguilar4961 says, Happy belated birthday to your son, Jaden, and your daddy. Thank you, sis. Your mama and daddy were blessed with you, and you and Murder Show were blessed with your son. Oh, thank you. Thank you. That's so sweet. Yes. Thank you. Um, Gloria uh, Cook 7795 says, TikTok is my own. No, TikTok is on my chan China and you are in for a rude awakening. Tick what rude awakening? <laughs> what? Okay, thank you. Uh, Lily Portis seven one zero zero says, "Oh yeah, they need to leave TikTok alone because it's definitely fun over there, and some people do put out real stuff." Uh, exactly. Facebook is so ridiculous, but all social media is dangerous. Everybody just needs to be careful because. Anyone can get on any social media, including children, and that's a no-no for me because we all know it's some weird people out here. But to be honest, these platforms definitely 100% help to find people and other stuff. So they need to leave it alone because it's already there, yummy. It's, it's also helpful to people 
who don't watch the news. Exactly. Real talk, Yemi, mean, you definitely be on point. Period. Exactly. And uh, little does the uh, police department and, you know, investigators and all that, little do they know, TikTok is very helpful. Social media is very helpful for their jobs. Okay? <laughs> They hardly have to work because it's people in social media already have done the work for them to find these people, to find out all the information that they need because they get it from the internet and in our investigation. You know what I'm saying? Not mine, but you know, the people who do the investigating, that's where they get their information from. Their jobs are not even hard. They making money. I'm not, I'm not going to say all that money because I heard they will make a whole lot of money, but um, yeah, their jobs are basically done for them. So they, they need to chill. <laughs> they need to chill. Um, let's see. Katina C73 says, hey, yummy, looking good, girl. Thank you, girl. Um, well, I lived a sheltered life. I couldn't go to my friend's house for birthday parties. God, this sounds so familiar. I could go to their house to... Oh, God, I already uh, read that. No wonder it sounds familiar. Uh, it's Nessa's 468 says, Hey, beautiful, love your outfit. Hey, girl, thank you, sis. Thank you so much. Um, Mila Leggett 9890 says, Happy Friday. Thank you. Happy Friday to you, too. Shay Day 1 says, Girl, you always look so nice. Thank you. Yes to the hair, makeup, and the outfit. Thank you, sis. Thank you. Um, Brovoli says, I'm eating a spicy chicken sando. And my favorite Indian dish is chicken tikka masala and chicken 65. Girl, I ain't never heard of chicken 65. I'm going to have to make that. Chicken 65. I've had tikka masala and that's delicious. Uh, Lily Porter 7100 says, Hey, Yummy Bites. Hey, girl. Queen, you definitely looking so gorgeous. And the homemade garlic butter chicken dish looks delicious. Thank you, sis. Happy birthday to your father. My favorite dish, and thank you for that. Um, my favorite dish is the same way you're eating um, with a salad. My parents were strict. But meant, but mean business didn't play that at all. I'm the same way, but my kids understand because I definitely let my kids understand. I want them to be grateful and greater so they can learn from their mistakes. And they definitely understood the assignment because they tell me, thank me. Oh, I know that makes you so proud when they tell you that. Um, they tell me, thank me. I miss my spot. <laughs> um, and still learning so they can do for their kids one day but I'm not too hard on them but show them tough love they definitely are 100% successful now and maintaining and still don't want kids yet but to go far up in their careers I'm so proud and grateful that they are still listening to me and they daddy oh that is amazing I know that feels so good sis I know that feels good um, have a great blessed Friday. Stay safe, love. Love you, yummy. Um, thank, thank you, yummy, for dropping these everyday videos. Thank you, too. Thank you for watching and interacting. I appreciate that so much. Um, Lady Crop says, hey, yummy. Hey, girl. Your fit is super cute, girl. I don't think, thank you. I don't think TikTok is going to be banned. If it does, then I won't have a long uh, screen time anymore. <laughs> I love it so much. I swear, I was never making an account back then. Have a good weekend. Also, happy birthday to your father. Thank you so much. You have a good weekend too. Um, AP Trucker 8518 says, hey sis, hey girl. I used to be like that, but it ate me up so bad by the time I say Something I um, have a whole lot of other things to go off about by that time. I, I remember what I was talking about. Um, I'm really... I'm really heated, so to avoid that emotion, I address it right on the spot. It's truly less problematic. That is so true, because when you, like, friggin' just let it simmer like that and just let it sit... 
it's like you get even more upset and then you when you confront like it's just is it might be out of control you know what i'm saying yeah i definitely need to work on that uh riri love 1962 says hey yummy hey girl wishing you a ha no wishing happy birthday to your dad and thank you enjoy your family celebration thank you girl Riri Love 1962 says, please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure your notifications are on and set to all. Share if you care. Leave a comment or, cop or topic down below. Thanks and have a great day. Thank you, girl. Y'all make sure y'all go do what she said now. Thumbs up this video. Share, 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 share. Um, Tanya Jacobs 2058 says, hey, yummy, hey. Uh, the food looks amazing. Thank you so much. Um, your hair is always on point. Thank you. Have a blessed day and happy birthday to your dad. Wishing him many more. Thank you, girl. Thank you so much. I hope he has fun tomorrow. My dad said all he wanted was money. <laughs> I was like, I know that's right. Um, Deborah Cooper 4184 says, food looks delicious, girl. Thank you, sis. Um... Let's see. Keisha3468 says, delicious. Thank you. Uh, Belicious dinners. Hey, girl. She says, uh, looking good. Keep up the great work. Thank you, sis. Um, LaShawn1901 says, yummy vibes. Thank you. I love that you put that in every video. I love it. Um, user NMAMQ. <laughs> 1JX7W says, sis. I would love to come shop in your closet. Your fashion is everything. Thank you. And the food looks delicious. And happy birthday to your dad. Thank you so much. Thank you. Girl, I got enough clothes for you to come shop. <laughs> and she also says, I love that jumper. Thank you, girl. I love it. So I, li I can't wait until I'm like literally able to fit in it without a waist trainer. I can't wait, girl. I literally cannot wait. Uh, B Bogarty O C Two B J says, "Good afternoon, beautiful queen. Good afternoon, girl. Thank you for the homemade butter, uh, chicken and garlic. I think you meant to put garlic naan. <laughs> Looks so delicious, and you look so beautiful in that outfit. And your hair is so gorgeous. As always, thank you for the awesome, amazing, beautiful video. Happy, um, happy for you." Wait, happy for to you, sis. I hope you have a wonderful, blessed weekend. And thanks for the amazing, beautiful video. Thank you, sis. Love you. Thank you so much. And love you, too. Thank you so much. Um, Girl Girl 95 says, early. That's when I know I'm to the end of the comments when I read Girly Girls. Because, baby, she be one of the first ones, honey. Every single day. Shout out to you, Girly Girl. And everybody else who be, like, one of the first ones. To comment on the video, Michael Stewart, uh, 198 says the food looks amazing. Love your hair, yummy. Keep the keep up the amazing work. Thank you, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Um, Patricia 6041 says happy Friday. Food looks delicious. Happy Friday to you too. Happy Friday to everybody. Thank y'all so much for commenting and interacting with the video. I appreciate y'all so much. Um, make sure y'all are following me on Instagram and TikTok, okay, and my family blog channel. Make sure y'all are following me over there. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, y'all. That was a 10 out of 10, okay? I need y'all to try that too. Okay, yeah, mm-hmm. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please do what? Thumbs up this video. Subscribe if you haven't already for everyday videos. Everyday videos. Hey, uh, 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 hey, 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 uh, uh. And I will see you guys on tomorrow. Peace. Y'all come back now. You hear? Bye, y'all. Love y'all.